Hello, this is Candy, and I'm going to do a video on, um, a video review actually, on some inexpensive makeup products that I tried. I um, actually mentioned it on my um, eyelash video as far as um, an inexpensive product that I used, and what inspired me was um, the use of the LA Color product that I purchased from the dollar store in a burgundy and gray tutorial that I did for someone. So, um, after doing that and um, kind of liking the color that I used, the burgundy, I decided to venture off and see what was out there on a the dollar store shelves and to rate them, okay? Um, the first thing, um, first manufacturer that I'm going to talk about is the Absolute. And um, this particular manufacturer had a lot of colors. I'm going to show that to you. And, um, you would see that at the beginning of the slideshow. That's the uh, manufacturer that I'm showing first. And this is a burgundy. Um, I tried this particular color. The pigments were really nice. Um, um, they showed up very well on my dark skin tone. I, um, I used them, but I didn't use them with the Urban Decay. Um, the staying power was um, it left a lot to be desired but um, the colors are very nice as you can see very strong vivid colors but um, most definitely carry them in your purse because you would probably be reapplying them before the day is over I also tried the LA color as I spoke of before in my um, video and this is the yellow that I used and this one is called um, golden and actually, I, um, the staying power was the same, not too great. I would probably rate them both as far as that, um, a three. And as far as uh, color selection with the Absolute, I give it, for it being a dollar store, I give it a seven, seven and a half, and that's really high. Uh, the LA Colors, as far as, col um, as far as color selection, I would give them a six. And as far as sustained power, again, um, a three. Um, here's another color. This one is called Violations, and this is a purple that I um, that I purchased. Um, Try them out, um, and they were okay, especially for someone that's just beginning to use the eyeshadows and, and learn the blending. You know, it'll be good to go and buy some inexpensive colors instead of using your Mac um, just to practice with. Um, another manufacturer that I um, went out and I kind of tried, and this was the NYX manufacturer. Um, not necessarily a dollar store brand, but I did get them at a great um, price, as I mentioned before, for $2.30 and something cents. And they also have the larger size um, compacts as well. Um, I, I, I didn't care. Actually, the color selection was okay. Um, but I didn't care for the way it showed up on my skin tone. Again, I did not use it with the Urban Decay, but I, I am going to try it with that. But um, I felt it was a little light, a little powdery for for me. It just didn't um, have that, um, that pop the way it needed to um, for my skin tone. I went, and you know how you go to the store and you see these little gits and gadgets and... Um, Normally I don't buy things like this, but I just happened to try this particular um, thing because I messed my eyebrows up not too long ago. And this is by the NYC company. And actually what it is, it's a brush-on eyebrow kit. And um, what you do actually is um, you slide it open and you have this little teeny weeny weeny tweezer. But it works really well, actually. It really grabs uh, those hairs really good on your eyebrows there. And this, but this brush was so small. Oh my God, it's just teeny weeny. And what you do is you dip it in the wax. You actually dip it in the wax, and then you dip it in the color, and then you hold this teeny weeny brush, and you kind of just kind of draw your eyebrows on. And what it does is they said that they say that the wax is supposed to make the hair stay down and um, give you a more defined look. Actually, the more I use it, the more I like it. It was $3.99, um, but um, I still would give it maybe a 4. Um, so for right now, that's it for my um, inexpensive makeup review. Um, I did stop at the Mac store, and I picked 
up my Christmas um, um, collection from MAC and I have not had the pleasure of using it yet but it's so cute as you can see and um, the, pr the pretty little colors on the inside and it comes with a brush and a little mirror and a little compact I thought it was so cute and I love the color combination she said that these colors would not be sold separately that they would be only sold in this in the particular package but one of those colors were used before in each package and everyone knows my favorite store off the fifth um, I went to off the fifth today and I purchased my um, brush my Christmas brush collection and that's at um, thir I purchased that at thirty three dollars and seventy five cents and I was surprised that they had it there so I kind of dove across the counter slid um, across the floor did a couple of tuck and rolls knocked a couple of people over and I got it so um, <laughs> that's what I did um, here's um, I haven't had a chance to open it it's, it's really cute I have the gray and pink bag and then um, I have the entire brush collection here yay for me and I can't wait to use them. There they go. $33.75 at Off the Fifth. Make sure you call first to make sure that your store has one. And the name of that store is The Cosmetic Company. Thank you so much, YouTube, for watching. Bye.